As a realtor, it's easy to focus on the deal and not the people who comprise the deal. Because I'm always seeking knowledge, I just felt that there must be a way to be successful and not be transactional in the process. I have grown my business by being relational and not transactional. The relationships that I have built along with my small team have truly been remarkable. Now, I'm helping the children of the people I worked with back in 2010 who are now buying their first home as young adults. Do I feel a little old because of that? Yes. <laughs> but I feel even more honored to be helping another generation and to be doing my business predominantly by referral. It's very fulfilling. My name is Tanya Cunningham, and I am the owner of Tanya Homes Group at the brokerage EXP Realty. I was born in England, and at the age of two, my parents moved the family from England to Jamaica. I was very glad that my life story really begins in Jamaica. I loved my childhood and the people who made such an impact on my life. The culture of Jamaica is so rich, fun, and interesting, and has played a big part in who I've become. I started my career as a journalist in Jamaica, but eventually moved into photography. I love the creativity involved in photography and the level of service that we provided for our clients. It was during this time that I really understood how connecting with clients and truly seeing who they were, both inside and out, could bring a level of connection that could last. In my 10th year as a photographer, I read a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, and I was fascinated. The book spoke to me about an entrepreneurial mindset and fueled my interest in real estate. I decided that I was going to start investing in real estate beyond the home I already owned. I also wanted to be able to help others achieve their dreams of home ownership. So I got my Florida real estate license in 2002 and I resigned as a photographer. I had an opportunity to learn about short sales in New York, which were not common in Florida at the time. So I moved to New York and became a successful short sale negotiator and realtor. I was still tied into the Florida market by purchasing some properties here. In 2005, I moved to Chicago and in 2006, my daughter was born. I moved to Florida in 2009 because this was where I always wanted to be. My adventure in New York was only supposed to be for a year, but between New York and Chicago, I was gone for seven. My timing could not have been worse. Returning to Florida at the height of the real estate bust had its challenges, but my work in New York proved to be an advantage as well as having determination to make it work. I love being able to help someone fulfill a dream of home ownership or guide someone who needs to sell a home due to something unexpected and difficult. The compassion and patience that is required for others during this journey is remarkable. And I discovered that many people don't understand how to provide that when it actually is what I enjoy the most out of the entire process. Most people buying or selling a home, no matter the experience, are looking for a trusted advisor, and they recognize that in me. The level of authenticity becomes apparent very quickly because I truly care about my client's best interests. I have had so many takeaways and breakthroughs from my journey to this moment. Some of the most valuable ones are that I truly believe that there is a source, force, and resource that I call God that guides me. When I lean on that, which is beyond my understanding, magic happens. When I was a young journalist, I thought that I was invading people's lives and privacy. I eventually learned that the reason why they were asking me to write certain things down is that they wanted to be heard. They wanted to know that someone cared about their story. I was their voice. I know that now. Because of this, I have become more and more curious about my clients. I want to know their story. I ask more questions and I dig deeper so that I can serve them in a way that matters. One thing that has stayed with me through the years, no matter what I was doing, was bringing a level of service to others that made them feel valued. That's why 
We wear the hats to bring you the facts.